Does your child need a skincare routine? This is one of the common questions that I get asked by parents all the time on my social media. So today I'm gonna to share with you products that I use on my three-year-old daughter. Hi, I'm Dr. Jenny Liu. I'm a board certified dermatologist in Minneapolis. Welcome to my YouTube channel. On here, I love to talk about all things skin and skincare related. So does your child need a skincare routine? Yes and no. In a way, as a you know frazzled new mom, I find that starting a nighttime routine that incorporates skincare can really help me as well as help my baby get into the habit of bedtime. And so that is really how I used skincare when I became a new mom. I have one daughter who is three years old. Her name is Sophia, we call her Sophie. She has dry, unfortunately inherited my eczema prone skin. Both my husband and I are atopic. I have eczema and seasonal allergies. My husband has asthma and seasonal allergies, but she already has shown eczema, signs of eczema um, as early as six months old. We struggled a lot with first diaper dermatitis and then throughout the winter here when it gets really dry and cold She will frequently get eczema on behind the knee as well as on her arm So classic areas that kids tend to get eczema in so as I mentioned earlier The routine I started back when she was an infant really was to help me and then eventually help her Understand the importance of a routine in preparation for bedtime So it doesn't have to be complicated, especially if your child is is, you know a newborn or a couple years old and as they get older once they start getting into puberty when they have to apply medications for maybe acne then you can maybe better tailor that regimen to reflect you know the, the needs of their skin at that time but otherwise every day in the morning before she goes outside if she goes outside we emphasize the importance of sunscreen so those are the two things that I really find to be very important, especially when it comes to sun protection. I find that these habits emphasizing the importance of sunscreen and wearing sun protective clothing, these habits really can be formed and really is better formed earlier on in life. So when it comes to products and ingredients that you should be avoiding, in general, kits under six months or younger should not be wearing sunscreen at all. So if they are going to be outside, it should be, you know, covering some protective clothing. Baby six months and older for sunscreen, it is recommended to stick to a mineral-based sunscreen. As far as using chemical sunscreens, and if you are interested in using that, when is the right time to start? There isn't really a set age, but I personally feel like kids three years and older can use a chemical sunscreen. When it comes to sunscreen, it doesn't have to be formulated for kids or for babies. Any sunscreen that's purely mineral based is fine to use. And in fact, a lot of the adult mineral sunscreens for sensitive skin, I use that on my daughter when she was younger. We use that on her now and vice versa. I actually find a lot of the kids sunscreens or baby sunscreens we will use on our body when we're outside. So that really saves you the confusion and the need to bring out multiple tubes of sunscreen when you're outside or going on vacation. For cleansers and moisturizers, ingredients that I, I recommend in general to avoid are harsh surfactants and fragrances. And this is because, you know, newborns and, and babies, their skin barrier aren't as strong as adults. And often eczema starts in infancy and these are potential triggers for eczema or at least impairing that skin barrier. So I always recommend a gentle cleanser, a fragrance-free moisturizer, or products that are formulated for sensitive skin. It's not a guarantee that the product won't be irritating, but often hypoallergenic products are better formulated for individuals who have more eczema and sensitive skin and I find that to be a little bit better tolerated by young kids. As far as when to use other active ingredients like retinoids or other things that you currently use in your routine, I personally find those to be a little too advanced for kids before puberty and really they don't really need anything else besides a good moisturizer, cleanser, and sunscreen. And so I don't like to talk about skincare routines with my pediatric patients unless they are coming in with their parents to talk about acne. So when it comes to cleansing, I wash my daughter's skin once a day before bed. Bath time is 
a part of our bedtime routine. So we do bath, brush teeth, read books, and sleep. We've done this ever since she was a newborn. I get a lot of confusion around, you know, the frequency of bathing. And there's this misconception that bathing causes eczema. In essence, if you are bathing without moisturizing, that washing, even with water, can be drying on the skin. However, if you have dry eczema prone skin, bathing the correct way can actually be quite soothing and may remove some of the crust and inflamed skin and can be very very helpful in general whether it's bath or shower you want to keep the water temperature comfortably warm you don't want super hot you know, a lot of us especially in the cold winter like to jump into a hot shower but hot water can be very irritating and drying on the skin furthermore you want to limit the amount of soap you're using in general I just tell my parents only use soap to the diaper area or where there's frank dirt even the mildest clean will essentially remove some of the skin lipid and protein and disrupt the skin barrier. So minimizing that is really, really important. A few brands I really like that I recommend to my patients all the time is the CeraVe line, whether the, their generic line or the one for baby. Dove since the skin line, um, their bar soap is amazing. That is what my husband and I use, but they also have a head to toe wash that is a great all-in-one that parents can use as a shampoo or as a soap to wash dirty areas of their child. And then the Roche Posay, their Lipicard cleanser, their dental cleanser, that one I find to be very hydrating. And so those are the one, the three that I alternate between on my daughter. So another trick is to keep the water contact time short. So no more than 20 minutes. We usually, you know, take a bath for about 10 minutes. And when she comes out of the shower or bath, we pat her skin dry and when her skin is still damp, this is the best time, prime time to apply a moisturizer from head to toe. I like to switch up between moisturizers for her. In the winter time, I love La Roche-Posay Lipicar AP Balm. That's a really thick hydrating moisturizer. I apply that from head to toe for her. Sometimes in the winter, we may even just resort to Aquaphor or Petrolatum when her skin is really dry or have a lot of eczema patches. In the summertime, I like to switch to lighter formula I really like the CeraVe uh, moisturizing lotion. That's a really good one to use. That's still very hydrating with ceramides to help to repair the skin barrier, but doesn't feel thick and heavy. For parents with kids who are battling eczema, I always recommend ointment-based medications because they work better. And so usually the routine would be bath, moisturizer, and then I apply the prescription medication to where she needs it afterwards. So that's pretty much it, short and simple for her nighttime routine. Now let's talk about some of the sunscreens that I recommend. I know I briefly touched up on this earlier. Some of the favorite sunscreen brands I like, and again, this is a personal choice because really the best sunscreen is the one that you like enough on yourself or that you like enough on your child. Some of my favorite ones are Neutrogena Sensitive Skin. That formulation is essentially is exactly the same as their one that is made for baby. Another one is CeraVe Baby or their mineral sunscreen. The reason why I actually like the baby version better is because that mineral formulation is water resistant up to 80 minutes. And I find that to be really helpful because most frequently we are applying sunscreen on her in the summertime and you know she's out and about sweating. And so going with a water resistant sunscreen is gonna help the sunscreen stay on better than one that is not. Another sunscreen that I really like on her and we use as a whole family is the La Roche-Posay uh, and Helios Mineral 50. This is a great face and body. And lastly, I like Think Baby as well as Blue Lizard. Their baby and mineral formulation are both great sunscreens. Now, because mineral sunscreens tend to leave a white cast, one of the common questions I get from parents is how to effectively remove sunscreen from their child. Now, I personally do not go hard with using excessive soap or scrubbing because my child has sensitive of skin and I find those things to irritate her skin. So I just stick to those gentle cleansers that I mentioned, which overall tends to be fairly effective. And I, you know, okay with a little residue on her hairline here and there. It's just sunscreen. It's not going to be super harmful to her body. However, one of the easiest things you can do that is affordable and effective is using a body oil to remove the sunscreen. Neutrogena has a great body oil that's fairly affordable. Even just coconut oil, when you melt a little bit of that and apply on the skin, essentially it's like a cleansing balm. I mean, you can definitely use cleansing balm on your child. Although I 
I find that to be a little bit too costly. So any oil or oil-based cleansers will effectively remove um, that white cast, especially if the sunscreen is water resistant. And then you can just rinse it off or use the cleanser to remove any leftover greasiness from the oil. So those are some of my tips and products that I use on my daughter. I think the most important thing is just getting into a habit of forming a skincare routine that helps to prep you as well as your child going forward. So what products do you use on your kid? I would love to know. Please comment below. Or if you have used any of the products I recommend it. Let me know how you like them. And if you enjoy watching videos like this or want to learn more about routines for your child, please comment below with some topic ideas or questions. And if you enjoy watching this video, please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel. You can find additional tips on skincare either for your child or for yourself on my Instagram at derm.talk as well as TikTok at Dr. Jenny Liu. I'll see you guys next time. Thanks for watching.